Okay, so today I'm gonna show you how to make your own pen. As you can see, I have four different types of pens here. I have this one, uh, profile pen, two profile pens, different colors though, and then this Z grip one. Um, so today I'm gonna take them all apart and these all have their advantages to them and their disadvantages. Like, uh, this one's got a pretty nice, uh, tip to it. Unlike these three, um, this one has a pretty big ink sack. These ones have a bit bigger balls, ball points. Um, so they're easier to write with. And this one, uh, I don't, I don't know. I just grabbed this one. Um, so let's get right ahead and start taking these guys apart. So I'm gonna keep all my things separate. I'm gonna put my springs right there. And I'll take the grippy off. Now some tips come off with profile pens that happens not to come off. Um, so not all pens are gonna come apart uh, the same way as each other one just does. As if you look over here, the springs are much different here although they provide the same resistance. So like this one, the top doesn't come off, unlike the profile one. So let's take our other profile one apart. Our springs stuck in there. All right, well, we got another profile spring too, so. All right, and now, nope, oh, there we go, I guess. Now, this is an important part to some of these uh, brand name pens. These go, this goes right in between the trigger and the ink. Right about there. Um, well, I'll actually show you when we put them back together. So, looks like that profile pen uh, spring isn't coming out for the black one. Okay, so we have all our parts out. Um, so now I'm going to make... Uh, so you gotta make sure that all the parts stay the same well, same size at least. So what I usually start to do, take this grippy off. There we go. Uh, so I just start to experiment. Um, so let's just take this. Uh, oh, and if you get, if you're gonna come and blame me, for getting the fluids mixed up because they all look black. Um, you could usually look right down the top. Um, or you could always take a toothpick and push it down the ink sac and then the ink will come out that the what color it is. Um, so, you know, this is a pretty good ink, large blob of it. So I'm gonna go right ahead and put this one. That's not gonna fit. See, so it's trial and error with these guys. Okay, but we can take the red one. Put that in. And now, why don't we take the blue top? Now this is gonna be an experimentation because as you saw, 
No, so the whatever ink you have that comes out with this guy has to go in with no matter pen it is. So I'm gonna go ahead and stick that guy on. Um, See, and I see this is also experimentation because I think I put it on wrong. You also always want a ballpark. If that's all the way out like that, and if you push it down all the way, and that tip isn't coming out, and this is still partly out, you know that this isn't going to work. So, what I'm going to do, okay, so apparently the red ink sack doesn't really want to work for us. Um, there we go. But, I'm going to take the blue ink, because who doesn't like a nice black pen with blue ink? So, I'm going to take the blue ink here. As you could see, there's that little blue speck. I don't know if you could see through well through the camera, but that's going to go through. And I know that this is going to fit because this was from a profile pen. Um, now I'm going to put the blue grippy on. So if you're going to do this, I recommend you get a whole like, bunch of pen, the same pen brand and type. And then, like, a whole bunch of different colors and color inks. This way, you don't have to worry about what I'm doing with, like, the different spring sizes and all that. Um, so, uh, what do you say, guys? I'd say a blue top will complement pretty well with that blue grippy. So now, as you see, pen works perfectly good, and no one's going to really know what type of pen it is, because it's black, blue, black, blue, uh, but you will know in the end, it's blue. Um... So, yeah, like I said, get the same type of pen. Um, so now I'm just going to do the same thing with the other black profile pen that I had. So this is especially good when you uh, run out of pens. Um, and you don't want to take any. Or like you run out of pens, but you got a whole bunch of parts laying around, or you got a pen that doesn't work. Um, but some of the parts work. They're really easy to take apart. They tend to don't have that many parts. Um, the only thing is, is you got to really remember which springs go to what, go to which pen. Because uh, that can get important. So, really, please, um, don't blame me if you can't uh, do this and you can't um, get it to work because it was uh, not cooperating because it was two different pen brands and pen types. So, this really only works with the same pen type. Oh, there you go. Uh, two pens that, well, I mean, I switched the grippies. I switched the grippies, and I switched the cases, but these are both the same uh, type of pen. So you can really do it with the same type of pen. If you run out of ink, you could use this video to um, show how to do it. An ink refill, because as you saw, you just got to get some more ink, 
or even get it from a different pen. Thanks, guys. Uh, leave a like, subscribe below. Um, the more likes you leave, the more videos I'm going to make. Thank you.